Easy peasy. Hey, what's up? Everybody doing all right? Hope so. Um, been doing a lot of limb lines, setting limb lines to catch flatheads, uh, set lines, pull lines, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think the official terminology for as far as the law goes is a, a set line. You got to check this out. The first fish, the first line we set, the first line we set, okay? It's less than two minutes from the boat ramp. We set the pole, set the pole in and bait it and the boat kind of starts drifting away. You'll see it. The boat starts drifting away in the current. And then we start drifting in that tree. You see me get tangled up in the tree and boom, a fish hits the, line, hits the limb line, a flathead. I'm not kidding you. It was like, it was like 20 seconds. It's unreal. It's unbelievable. I was so lucky I caught on film. I had the camera set up in a stationary position on the bank. And um, so you see me drifting away in the boat and boom, the pole hits. Yeah, and uh, you know, the pole doesn't, it's a small fish. The pole don't go down, bend real hard, but you see it. It's crazy. And I looked at my dog, we got out of the tree. You see me get, start the motor and get out of the tree and pull back up. And I was just going back up to get my camera and throw it back in the boat and go on to the next set. And boom, the fish hit. And uh, I looked at my daughter and said, that's a fish, you know, and she, and yeah, you, you just got to check it out. It's awesome. I never, I never, I never had a fish hit a limb line that fast. It was like 20 seconds. It was, it was, it was unbelievable. Glad we caught on film. Glad I get to share it. Um, we caught a bunch of fish, no big ones, but check it out. All right. Hey, I appreciate you coming along and uh, be doing some more limb lining. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I got to finish up these things. I've been putting them off. And uh, and uh, get this done. I got to get out and get some more bait. All right. Hey, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. All right. See you next time. Thanks. Get out of here, crazy cat. Trying to get ha cat hair up in my, my poly. Put the shine on. You hush, cry baby cat. All right, I gotta get these done. Later. Easy peasy.
heads up when we're drifting into trees like that stuff, okay? Hey, Dad. Put that up against the corner so your trees or something. Tuck it out. Force crook it there, so let her up on the dock. And, and, yeah, put it up there in the corner gets lost so you don't turn it off over. Now, put it on this side because most of our work's going to be off this side. All right, stare at that pole line. It's about to get bent. Get up there on your knees and grab that for me. Fish on! Jesus, that looks like a fish already, seriously. Hang on, Abby, we got a fish on. We got a flathead. Yeah! Yeah! That's what's up. Come on now. You gotta give me some credit on that one. Was that live enough? Y'all y'all seen that real life. I don't care how big it is. Yeah. That was crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we wasn't ready for that. I'm sorry. I'm here floating around. What are y'all doing? Ha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hang on. Don't pull it out yet. I'll come get it, sweetie, okay? Unreal! Unreal! Another one back in. It's a uh, 5:30 in the afternoon. That is the first first pull I put out, and you saw it. You saw me set it, bait in, and in what 20 seconds, boom, fish on. Johnny fish, yeah. Boat ramps right there. Man, we better hold on tight tonight. See ya. Okay. Okay, folks. Rubber band line. Super easy. Okay, it's a solid continuous loop. It's just an oversized giant rubber band. And like all rubber bands, they get dried and cracked. You gotta check them every time. These ones are about 10 years old, so they can break at any moment. So you got a continuous loop. So over your log or over your limb, back through one of the loops, and boom, you're set. That's secure. Line, your pre-made line, all ready to go. Tail through the loop. Slip knot. Always a slip knot. It's easy peasy. Through the loop, around one time, and back through, and keep the tail where it doesn't go through. Cinch it up. Done deal. Okay? It's secure. It ain't coming off there. I don't care if it's for your 300 pound blue cat. It ain't coming off of there. <clears throat> the rubber band could break or the limb can break, but the knot ain't coming loose. So it's just basic slip knot. Um, part reason is for safety on the river. If you start getting drifting away, it snags you in the leg, in the leg or the arm, the boat's drift away in the current. 
or if you get a big fish on and you want to fight it you want to uh if you get a big fish on and you're by yourself and uh you get a hold of the rope and the current's pulling and you just want to drift away with the fish you just grab that tail and boom you're free okay you're safe and you and you got your fish or whatever you need for it's a safety it's a safety issue simple slip knot all right, I need to check my depth on this. Hopefully this line was long enough. Yeah, good to go. Let me show you this setup here. Uh, long stretch of river bank, just uh, kind of some bump and goes along the bank there. And it comes down and big jetty back here behind us, big rock point. So current's blasting off that point, but we got a back swirl here. You can see the current coming back at us, hopefully. See it going past my line? It's moving back up this way. And then right there, it meets the current again. And goes back out. Okay? So, we got our main current coming down. It hits that jetty. Comes back around. And right here is the conversion point. Where it comes back around, hits, and gets drawn back into the river. Money spot. Alright. What do we want to put on here? We got green. I forgot my dip net for getting bait, my bait net. I got shell crackers and bullheads. How about a chub? Big creek chub. Not big, but big enough. Be like hitting the lottery if I grab a chub again. Ning. All right, creek chubs are soft-bodied, so I definitely I go through the through the lips or the eyes on a creek chub. They're so soft they can just get off the hook real easy. All right, on the next one. Thank you. Okay, we got something bouncing around on this rubber band line. Pulling pretty good. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull them in. Another little one. Well, that's the story of the night so far, right there. Little guys. Good looking spot. It's new. It's just, them trees are standing up. Um, just as they were right there, there's actually a big heap of mud right there. Right there. Where it just, it just slid in from that notch on the bank right there. It just slid right down in from the high water we've had last couple years. The trees are standing just like they were. These two, these two willows. And then this is a big cottonwood that fell in behind it after it happened or later on. He's still got leaves on it, green leaves, so his roots are still pulling in some moisture. All right. Might be a good one. We'll see. Okay, we're just checking our lines before we go home. Make sure we have bait and we got a fish on. It's this big, um, I know it's hard to see, it's this big uh, overhanging cottonwood that's hanging in the water that still had its leaves on it, the rubber band line. See how he's hooked. Well, he acts like he's tired already. All right. Nice 
showing up on there very good. Yeah. All right, second fish. A little six, seven pounder maybe. All right, we'll be back. Got fish pulling here. Pretty good. Sorry. All right, we got a fish pulling on this one. Okay, pull her in. Get it in the boat, no matter what you do. Get it in the boat. Oh, get him in. Get him in. Good job. Hold him up. We're gonna lose it. Hold on to that line tight. Hold him up high so we can see. Pull us, pull us towards the line. There we go, now you got some slack. Hold him up. What you got there, girl? Oh, you didn't. Got a big head for a little little guy. All right, there's another one. We'll be back if we get another one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got one on this rubber band line. Uh, doesn't look like he's pulling real hard, but you never know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think that's a very big fish. pound or whatever yeah that's how many is that one two three four yeah four it's about uh oh i don't know it's about 9 45 at night just checking them before we go home we'll be back in the morning all righty we'll see you We're coming up on uh, coming up on one. Um, he was set real shallow in the concrete. See it pulling. All right, let's see what we got. Woo! He's feisty. You see the beaver jump in the background? Wow, another little guy. I think he just got hooked. It's pretty fresh and lively. Doing pretty good. They're all little fish, but now we've torn them up. 
Say he was up real shallow. About to pull the boat under with the line. Okay, let's we'll see what we got. Okay, I had a rubber band line here in this brush pile. Behind this nice big root ball is creating a break in the water here. Had a nice one on there. He twisted it all up. That's why I use a swivel. See the twist in that line? Dang it! Good? Yeah. All right, you can see we got one tug in here. Set up, uh, if you look over here behind the, behind the pole, there's some tractor tires. So pretty good spot. All right, here we go. Okay, he's hooked pretty good. I'm gonna pull him in. All right. That little guy. We'll take him. It's like Christmas, it's like opening a present. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot. Big, big tractor tires in there if we can see them. So, you know, that's going to be good flathead environment. Somebody's farmers dumped them over the edge foot there for erosion control or whatnot. You know, it's got to be, be some get, big gaps there in the tire where they can get in there and live. Got a couple more to check. Hey. Just want to say thanks real quick. I got another fish coming up right after this. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. Hope you like the techniques on setting set on doing set lines. Setting set lines. Yeah, that doing that. Limb lines, set lines, pole lines, bank lines, yeah, rubber band lines. All of it. Yeah, we got it. Um, hey, but yeah, appreciate you coming along. It's a special day for me, as you can see, and uh glad to share it. And uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. Um, yeah, a lot of people can't believe you set you can catch flatheads uh setting bait up that shallow, but yeah. It's, it's good. It's all right. Hey, uh, we're going to end the show with where we, where we caught the first fish. The last fish, right now, is going to be where we caught the first fish back then. The 22nd bite that was actually a minute. But hey, we'll see you at the next spot. we got to go catch some bait. Later! This is the same line that uh, we caught the fish on right off the bat last night. Same same line.
door of the day and night so far.